Hi, baby. Hi, baby. All praise and glory to the Most High. Please align my will, my thoughts, and, and the depths of my soul with your will, Most High. I'm very grateful today. It is a gorgeous day. As you can see, the cherry blossoms up on the tree. But I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to um, incorporate my two MK Ultra Billy the Kid videos together in this video. As I felt, I digressed a lot in it. So I'm going to get right straight to the point. Billy the Kid was an MK Ultra slave, as revealed to me by the Most High and his very glorious son, Yeshua. Um, the first thing I'd like to bring out is the brain power that he had was due to electrocution by way of how they do their MK Ultra slaves. I cite Preston Bailey um, as Dr. Preston Bailey as he is a um, he he went into studying the MK Ultra and he knows um, much about it. If you'd like to um, go to his site and learn more about it um, what it is is Satan's way of bringing a slave to an audience specifically a lot of times in Hollywood or whatever agenda they're serving now in New Mexico in the days of Billy the Kid you had um, the you did have a war as he as he as he said as he explains through uh, by way of um, Emilio Estevez uh, the Lord revealed to me that Young Guns 2 is a very close uh, representation of, of Billy's life while here on earth however the biggest part that's left out is that he was a victim to satanic ritual abuse his name being Billy the Kid meaning Billy Kid Billy the Goat Billy the Kid Goat and he turned on them and he had a very, uh, he was very highly talented in the, in his talent as way of brain power, but also gun power. Um, when you see the scene of him uh, visiting the governor of New Mexico at the time, um, and how he shot um, the candlesticks, um, that represents much more than what you think and um, it also sh is uh, the way the Lord revealed to me a low um, very poor quality of how gifted Billy was in the shooting range area he had a very uh, long range shooting ability in fact it was higher than what the guns could uh, produce at the time um, as far as uh, range, okay? Um, his, his ability to shoot um, a, a long, far range with a gun was a threat to the illumined ones. And you'll see a scene in there where he actually wanted where he's actually has his gun pointed at the governor but the way the Lord is revealing to me at this time um, his range and his ability to shoot was farther than what that scene shows when he says he should have blown the governor away um, his ability to get out of handcuffs because his hands were smaller than um, than his wrists were very small but his hands were large so he could squeeze I mean no 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 his his wrists were much bigger than his hands that's right so he could squeeze out of handcuffs very very easily and it did save his life many times they would have hung him um, they didn't have that figured out they didn't know that um, until later on of course, or they wouldn't have been able to reveal it in his movie. Um, also, it is my understanding that the brain power that he had, his ability to read and write and speak a, a different language, was predisposed 
by the Lord our God. That was a gift that he was born with, but it came by way of electrocution. Okay. Um, had he known Yeshua while he was on this earth, he would have put a major, major, major uh, hole in the chessboard game. Um, he would have blown it to bits. Now, because things have to happen in, in the Most High's time, that doesn't mean that it would have stopped the game, but it would have totally hindered it and it would have sabotaged it significantly throughout the nation. Okay? So, when they film, when they actually filmed uh, Young Guns 2, they do it out of um, wanting to make money off of his name in resentment towards him. The Illumin ones do. They don't do it because they um, are thrilled by his uh, ability to turn on them and <laughs> uh, that's not how Satan works and you know this as well as I do. So yeah, they were very uh, they are still to this day, as revealed to me by the Lord, uh, put off by um, his abilities, and he he scared them. He 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 could have beat them at their own game had they not killed him. Um, it never. I'm still in mystery. Of, it has not been revealed to me if that he actually lived or not. I do not know that. I am taking it off my, off of only things that I know right now. Um, so all praise and glory to the Most High. Um, I'm very grateful today. Um, it was, it was really hard today. It was, I mean, yesterday it was a hard day for me and uh, how the Lord revealed to me that across the planet. The veil of protection was lifted off so that we could fight our spiritual warfare and practice at spiritual warfare. No matter what level you're at, it was revealed to me that we were at war yesterday. And um, I didn't see it coming. He doesn't want us to see it coming. He wants us to be able to fight in confidence that we have him with us. So all praise and glory to him. I hope that this brought some reality uh, it's just a re take on what the Lord revealed to me about Billy the Kid and he said it was well time that the truth came out regarding him um, amen hallelujah <laughs>